Alright, what is up guys? It's your man Evil Eye Dre here coming back at it again with another Black Ops 4 gameplay. And in today's gameplay, I got this I got this really saucy gameplay with the ICR. Um I just, you know, I, I've been using different guns, trying to see, you know, what I find my flow with. My favorite guns in this game so far are the actual vapor, the um KM57. I use the rampart here and there, but it's not my like go-to as much as it used to be anymore. I kind of swayed away from using it, even though it is a melt machine. And you know, you guys know how I feel about the Maddox, so I rarely use it. So really just the KM Vapor and um yeah. Pretty much those are the main two guns I use the most right now. But if you guys want to know what the class setup is that I'm using in this video, I'm using the ICR1, ICR7, whatever, whatever it's called in this game, I forgot. But I'm using the Binding Glory variant with, you know what I'm saying, uh, red dot. But my red dot is actually blue in this gameplay. I just thought I'd test out something different. It really don't make a difference. And I'm using, of course, double um, grip and quick draw. And my perks in this gameplay are going to be scavenger, gung-ho, and dead silence. Now, with, now honestly, I'm, I'm going to just straight up say it. Like, it's, it's refreshing to use newer weapons in Call of Duty, but it always sucks because it's like... In my opinion, I feel like Black Ops 4 needs new guns. You know, they're constantly readjusting the meta currently in their games, like constantly buffing and nerfing guns that really don't need it. Like recently, if you guys can recall, they actually just buffed the Rampart and the KM57 again. Now, the K I feel like personally, they just trying to make the KM57 the best gun in the game because if you really think about it, the KM44 was basically one of the best guns in Black Ops 3. It wasn't the best because, you know, it wasn't really used in competitive, but if you really think about it, it was the best overall gun in that game. Like, literally, it was so consistent. I feel like that's what they're trying to do with the KM57 in this game, but you know how stuff works. Um, another thing I will like to say is, like, uh, the Rampart, to me, just doesn't constantly need to be buffed. The gun already melts as fast as it does anyway with double high cal. If I'm being completely honest here, I kind of feel like the Rampart could probably do it a slight nerf to maybe the high caliber attachments maybe not even the high caliber one i feel like what i would do is actually i would nerf the hip fire accuracy with most guns because for some reason i see a lot of people who use the km57 or who use you know certain ars you know the rampart for example they hip fire with it and every bullet seems to hit and say they don't hit their bullets right because the random bullet spread and hit scans in this game if somebody hip fires with a rampart that has double high caliber even one high caliber they get a cheese headshot and i mean honestly ever since the introduction of the attachment high caliber i've always thought it was bs but seeing as though they, that they introduced high caliber 2 in black ops 4 you really start to see how bs that this attachment really can be at times uh but yeah in this gameplay you gonna see why i really don't like playing in a party a lot because i'm gonna be honest with you right i look at black ops 4 and then i think about every other call of duty i've ever played and like, you know, in this gameplay, you're going to see me go like 50 and 1 or something like that, right? So 50 and 1 with no nuke, but a long ass gun, but a long ass streak, right? And like what kills me with this is if I played World War II and I went 50 and 1 World War II, you can bet your ass that I would have gotten a V2 rocket at some point. Or if I went 50 and 1 and IW, I would have gotten a nuke as well. You know, it's like... I don't know man, I just sometimes I really hate the way Treyarch games work, especially in this game where it's like it's already hard to get like I don't go for nukes, as I've said before and I'll continue to say it. Like I feel like nukes don't really mean anything in this game. But I mean when when the chance, you know, presents itself, you wanna try to go ahead and get the nuke. But it sucked because of course what happened? One I've, as I've been noticing recently, everybody left and nobody was connecting back. And when people did connect back, you know, as soon as I gunned them, they would leave again. And I mean, for the most part, I can kind of understand because I mean, would you want to stay in a game that you know you're const that you're constantly getting streaks rained in on you? You know, you got people calling in threshers, snipers' nest, strike teams. I get it. I get it completely. But my God, bro, you know, for for what we was playing to be like one of the features. No, actually, was this? Yeah, this was like the featured game mode. I think. No, I think this is just regular hardpoint actually. But for this to be what is what it is, you know, it's crazy because you would think that damn, you know, any any game mode like hardpoint, I get it because it's not that many people that play that you expect to play against a bunch of sweaties. But like in this specific game mode that we playing, which I, and I feel like this was endurance actually, 
I feel like like you would think by this being a featured playlist that you would actually see multiple people coming in the lobby and like coming in and out because in most video games, especially Call of Duty games, if there's a featured game mode, that's what usually attracts more of a you know wider audience because more people that's the first thing people see when they hop on and they click for a game mode. You know, that's like the first thing everybody sees, whether it's sweats, noobs. But I don't know, man. I feel like in this game, I don't either. Either this game has been like dwindling in its player base, or just you know, not as many people are playing the featured game modes anymore. I feel like a lot of people have caught on to the fact that certain game modes have sweats, like non-stop, and that's why they don't play it. For example, in an endurance playlist, unless you're playing in a five or six, don't even bother playing it. You're gonna join into a late game where your team is already getting clapped. Like honestly, it's just a waste of time at that point. Uh, like infected is a decent game mode, but you know Another thing that's like I kind of wish Treyarch would just let go. You know what I'm saying Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer can do infected best if I'm being honest here And in my opinion infected is best done by the people who created it. You know what I'm saying Infinity War But you know Sledgehammer does a decent job as well, but Treyarch when it comes to infected just not my cup of tea I don't really like how um first of all I noticed in this game specifically, you know, with the already the way the health is and all of that, making infected run at the speed of light in a game where it already takes multiple bullets, like, and sometimes even like even if you miss your shots, that person can heal themselves up again, and it still take multiple bullets to kill somebody. You know, I just I feel like personally they either could have changed the loadouts or I don't know, and like this game to me. I like I like that they trying to be innovative in it and it's all cool like that's fine and fine and dandy but my god you know I don't feel that personally that the way that they trying to innovate is really you know taking a positive line like for example they added a new map recently called Arsenal Sandstorm now it's funny because you would think oh man this is gonna probably be a cool ass map Arsenal Sandstorm I can see it now this map is gonna have a you know it's, it, it's gonna you know have a lot of action you know not so many people gonna be moving but you know it's Arsenal so you know it's gonna still have that fast paced action that the usual Arsenal have you know what I'm saying fast paced action right inside the vents like it usually have had us but still you know every time I play this shit I be thinking and I, and I enjoy the game I, I enjoy the game for what it's worth at this point you know it pisses me off, but I enjoy it. Uh, I think the only way I can enjoy this game, and I've just learned to accept it, is if I play it with my friends. If I play this shit in a two or three, man, I get mad because lobbies in this game, I don't know, man. Like, I can play solo, but lobbies in this game seem like every time I look, it's a party of six, um, it's a party of six, man, that's usually Master Prestige playing together. Like, the other day, I was playing Team Deathmatch. Team Deathmatch, with might I add, only goes up to 100 points. Why am I finding a six man of Master Prestige is playing TDM? And the crazy part about it, what usually happens with Master Prestige is if somebody gets clapped, they immediately bring out some whole shit. Strobe light, fire shotgun, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. It, it just, it becomes, it becomes irritating. And, um, you know, I don't know. I, I'm, I really, really, really can't wait for the next COD to come out because as much as, you know, BO4 is holding me over for now, you know, I play this game and I feel like sometimes it's not even really the game itself that's ass, more so the player base. Like the shit that they allow players to be able to do in this game is just becoming annoying. So it's like I have to pick my poison when I hop on this game. That 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 god tier lobby that usually has really great connection and people and bots that don't shoot back. That decent lobby with slight competition, but you know, usually the connection isn't fully there. That like straight up trash ass lobby where everybody's sweating their balls off with that overused piece of shit Maddox and literally using you know the GB setups and the connection is hot ass or my favorite you get a you, you and this is the one that I just seem to notice I find the most so you get the extremely bad lobby not only are you connecting in to a shitty server a shitty connection you're also connected into a game that's late as fuck you connected into a game that everybody has multiple streaks you come in there you getting you know you getting charged at by strike team members a k9 unit and not even you know honestly i wish that that could have been in this game not that huff ass dog that nomad can call in for free i wish there could have been an actual k9 unit in this game can you just picture the possibilities of if you were to earn a strike team and k9 unit combo Literally, that would have been the rage quick combo. That would have been probably the new. That would have been the new uh, swarming dogs. Because I mean, yeah, it's it's only two people in a in you know the um 
what the squad unit or whatever and i get that and i get that the strike team i mean but still it's like come on now the strike team can easily get obliterated by like a um, gravity spike or hell or even a war machine sometimes not a tempest though and a purifier hell even an annihilator so i saw like what by them being able to get annihilated so fast that you do so much to earn them what is the actual point you know of them being where they at but yeah you know uh this gameplay is almost coming to a close you know as always everybody left and the game pretty much became a slow paced piece of shit and you know i just i wasn't really enjoying it that much so uh yeah i'm gonna leave i'm gonna end you guys with the last little bit of footage of me just running around and with all that being said guys my name's is eiffel Adre. smack it lobbies is my hobby if you enjoyed the video please be sure to drop a like subscribe turn on notifications if you're new and if you guys see this, by the time that this video goes up, I'm actually going to be streaming on my um, Twitch channel. I'm going to leave a link actually in the description and in the comment section. I'm planning on streaming maybe some Apex or, you know, maybe Call of Duty on my um, Twitter. Not Twitter, Twitch. I mean, I don't know why the hell I said that. But, yeah. And if you enjoyed the video, please sure to drop a like, subscribe. And I will see all of you guys in the next video. Peace out.